Hello friends, today we will see how to draw a flow chart to find the largest number from given three numbers using nested if else statements. So this nested if else allows us to write if else statement inside if as well as else part. So we will see how to do that. So we require three input variables. So enter e. Second one, enter D, enter, enter C. So, first we will write condition to decide A is largest number or not. So, we will put your condition. So, first condition will be a greater than B. So if first condition is true, then we are going to write here second condition that is A greater than C. So second condition will be A greater than C. If first condition is true and second condition is true, then we can say that A is largest number. So I'll write your output that says A is largest. Now, if A is greater than B, it's true, but A is greater than C is false. So, here it says A is greater than B, but A is not greater than C. So, we can say that C is largest. So message will be C is largest. Now, if this condition is false, means if A is not greater than B, in that case, case A is out of race. So we'll be having only B and C to find the largest number. So we'll put one more, one more condition here and the condition will be B greater than C. So if this condition is true, then we can say that B is largest number. So we'll write a message B is largest. Else, I'll just copy this and put here put C is largest. So we'll see it one more time. We'll take three numbers A, B and C. First condition is A greater than B. If this is true, we have written here one more condition A greater than C. So if first one is true and second one is true, then we can say that A is largest. If A greater than B is true, but A greater than C is false, so in this case we can say that C is largest. If first condition itself is false, then we'll be having only B and C to find the largest one. So we'll Put your condition B greater than C. If it is true, then we can say B is largest. If this is false, then we can say C is largest. We will see the blender value 3, 2, and 1. So first condition is true, second condition is true, then it displays 3 is largest. Now repeat again. One. So first one is true, second one is true, so it says 3 is largest. Now we will repeat it for last one. So 1, 2, 3. So you can say C is largest. This again 3 is largest. So in this way you can write a flowchart to find the largest number using nested if else concept. So you can see here we have written this condition inside this. So for if part we have one more condition and for else part we have one more condition. This is nothing but nested if else statement. Thank you.